what it is, I have a five holder. What I'm gonna do is just load. I'm just gonna do. Okay, no problem. So I'm just gonna. What you do is you have to. These are carbon coated, not even polished, and carbon coated, and you have to conduct electricity. So what you do is you cheat and put a little piece of carbon tape on the side, and then towards the end. And then you can act, so then it'll conduct electricity. And that's a sample just out of the blue yeah, this one's, container. Yeah, this one's exactly out of one of the containers. Okay. And then I just measure and I just I put it in here. You want to get on that side, actually? I just put it in here and go flush. So we do is that we have something called a backscatter image. And how it's set up is, can you see the cursor or not? Yeah. So what happens is we do is we carbon code it. So everything that's black right here is carbon coded. And you need carbon in order for it to run it on the SM with these high voltages and high vacuums. So and the way the rule of thumb is so this is black, this is carbon. These grayer ones tend to be silicates, and these ones tend to be sulfides. And the way it's set up is you get farther down the, the periodic table to get brighter and brighter. This is Backscatter is based on grayscale, so black is zero, and uh, white is complete is 255, and so you have all these different layers in between with with numbers. So something that's like 80, this is probably like around 80. This is about 150. They said the brighter you get, the farther it goes down the periodic table. This is the EDAX. Data. This is EDAX pattern, which is what energy dispersive X-ray. Okay, so analysis. it's x-rays hitting that particle, yep. bouncing back, and causing spikes for certain elements contained in it. So we do it. The, this so we brighter. selected another particle, yeah. particle from Better the pock. Yeah. Visual representation here. Now let's hit it with an x-ray. Collect. Okay, he just hit collect to hit it with an x-ray. And that's See. actually, I know what that is. That's not copper. This is actually iron and sulfur, so it's probably, it's pyrite is what it is. Okay. But I always compare it to the library, and if you look at pyrite, pyrite, so it hits it for sure. Okay.